All right, Gucci. Uh, let me see. Perfect. Um, um, wait, I need to turn. There's something wrong with my headset. Me. All right, take your time, G. Uh, let's see. Oh, I was using the wrong headphones. Let's see. Here we talk. Hello, hello, hello. All right, perfect. So yeah, since like the last time we debated, since like your scaling was just like so fucking like overly simple, I just, all I really did was just like, I just read, like I just read through the entire Tournament of Power arc. It's like not really like, I mean, you know, I was just trying to look at like some key points and shit like mm. that. I feel you, G. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I've been looking into it and that's why like I'm taking like hit versus freeze in a TOP. So I feel like it's some interesting stuff for hit. Yeah, yeah, it, it, yeah, it is. So, um... Yeah, I'll go first if you want. Okay. So we, we could just start with like our premises first and then like lead into it. Just so like there's no like confusion, right? Because, you know, mm -hmm, sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Well, my yeah. premise is just that like, um, yeah, I'm taking my yeah, freezer right here. So my premise is just that Frieza scales above hits, you know, just, you know, he's just, he would just speed blitz. Got you. Um, so my scaling would be that hit scales, uh, well, my, my scaling, what the fuck am I talking about? My premise would just be that hit scales above Frieza, and I'm going to be mm -hmm. using, like, feats for this. Mm, okay, that's cool. Um, so, yeah, so I'm going to just try to, like, because, like, I've seen people that I've debated, like, do this shit, but, like, like... They ask questions that I'm. I was already planning on like covering. Like they just cut me off. I mean, you're not like the type of guy to do that. But like, you're no, I, I like you. I know. I know you're obviously gonna have like contentions and shit. But like I'm gonna explain my shit. So, oh yeah, I got you. You don't gotta worry about that, G. I'm not a, like no weirdo and shit. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, where I'm going about this is well, hits best scaling is the Kaioken times 20 Goku before episode 110, and Frieza's is just scales to God top, uh, G.O.D. Topo, and on top of that, the same Topo, topo that fought against uh, Blue Evolution Vegeta that scales to the one that fought Jiren. Now, you can, like, you're obviously gonna have, like, a contention where, like, how would he scale to Jiren if Goku is massively amping him, and since Jiren wasn't using, I think his Limit Breaker is what it was called. Yeah. Well, the, the thing is, like, the Jiren that they were fighting, like, I want to say full power because he uses full power but like they were still alive after he uses limit, limit breaker but like they still scales to a stronger jiren than the one that they fought before because i mean that super saiyan blue evolution vegeta is stronger than final flash because you know vegeta's final flash gets more power than the uh ui omen 2 that fought kefla because he watched kefla fight and then he still thinks that he would uh blow away this jiren with the final flash and you can you can use you you might try to use the argument, well, like, uh, but Hit got Jiren in his time trap thing, but, like, Jiren literally broke out of it. I don't, I don't know about that, but, like, he just broke out of it, like, really easily. And some people, like, you're probably not going to make this, but, like, some people are going to try to rat and be, like, he's cocky or he didn't see Kefla fight, but, like, mid-fight uh, mid fight with Topo, he stops and senses the UI in Kefla battle. And, you know, basically... Actually, yeah, that's kind of it. I have more. It's not really like a definitive scale. I have more like to go over. But if you, you if you have any contentions, you can like state them now, or okay, if you want, you um, can just where, where would I like want to start? Uh, I guess first, like you made it the claim that like hit only has scaling to like a pre TOP SS Blue Kyle King Goku. Is that what you said? Uh, before episode. Uh, what did I say? Yeah, before episode. Uh, one ten. Okay, I don't cap to you. Is that during the TOP before? I don't remember episodes by heart. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me let me check it really quickly. The tournament of power starts at episode ninety six. Okay, yeah, we're talking about the same thing then. Mm -hmm. 
I would I would also like argue that Hit would have to uh I gotta remember these scenes. I gotta remember like these fucking moments properly. Yeah, that's why that's why I read through them last night. I just Hit comes it. in Hit comes in after the spirit bomb or he's before that. Uh so Hit the spirit bomb that yeah, Goku I remember uses Goku against uses spirit? it. Yeah, I remember he uses the spirit bomb against Jiren, right? But I'm kind of lost on the placement of when that happens. I'm I trying think to it was think before. like Okay, before Hit shows up. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember Goku runs up and fights him and shit. So I would have to um I would also like argue that Hit would have to like be above that too. And we know that How? like well, the fact he's able to actually like affect Jiren with his attacks. How more so he just his moves. Jiren with his attacks? Like Jiren well, broke we, out of his only Yeah, he like, broke out after using more power. Remember? Well, yeah, obviously, but he doesn't that doesn't mean that he scales to Jiren. Like he wasn't even like he Well, wasn't we even know we know Jiren. that same suppressed Jiren, right? Was fighting Goku and beat the dog shot of him in Super Saiyan Blue Cow Kid and takes the spirit bomb from him, right? But that same Okay, Jiren, yeah, you could argue that he got more fatigued or rather that Goku yeah, just but got the from the him thing is though is that that would be something like you would have to prove that Jiren's like more tired at this point. We got it's literally nothing for that, especially he at just this point. Goku. Okay, but he he dogged on Goku. You think he's tired from like an easy win? We also know that okay, before, yeah. at that point, Jiren wasn't even using any of his full power because Wheats knows it. Yeah, when he used, yeah, sure. I, I mean, I guess you can try to argue that, but the thing is, like, when when Hit put him in his in his time lock thing, when he was uh, putting out more power to break through it, he was also getting like, of course, you know, like you're not gonna try to rat and just let you know, but like basically, what I'm trying to prove is that uh, Jiren. Uh, whilst you know he's outputting more power, he also would be draining the power at the same time. So he would keep. So after, let's say, after he broke out of it, he'd be a little bit more fatigued than he was. Of course, like it won't make that much big of a difference, but you can't, you can't quantify how much it would make a difference. No, so yeah, but what I'm saying is like if you're making an assertion that he's fatigued as some sort of like defeater to my scaling, right? For me to have to take what you're saying seriously, you would have to show like, okay, this fatigue would have to be in some way important. It would change something about like the outcome of the battle. It would because it it would because he just because he just, just outputted more of his power. So he's yeah, but we know that well. same Jiren, right? That same Jiren goes on the dog. Not the same Jiren. Not, not not the same Jiren. He's using he's he's outputting more power. No, I know but he's outputting he's... more power to escape from Hit's attack, right? But he have to be putting more okay, power. Okay, yeah. To escape so how would, how would Hit scale to him? Yeah. So what I'm saying is this, right? If he has to, how if he hits the moment where Jiren uses more of his power. But the spear bomb and Super Saiyan Blue Cow Ken didn't make Jiren use more of his power, and he was still suppressing himself. Then Hit would have to be greater than that. Otherwise, he wouldn't need more power. That's what I'm saying. Jiren wouldn't need sorry, more power if Hit was less than those two things. Okay, can you repeat the beginning of what you just said? Okay, so what I'm saying is this, right? Jiren doesn't use more power to fight Super Saiyan Blue Cow Ken Goku, nor does he use more power for the spear bomb. He just deals with it. They, they don't state it as like, oh, he's no, using more power to handle it. No, it's 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 implied. You can literally see from his facial expressions, and the animators didn't do that just for just for nothing. Like they 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 animate every expression with you know. Yeah, but we usually uh, get some more. type of like uh like physical showing, right? Not just like in his face. But there like is a physical during, showing. He uses. Look, I'll send you. I'll send you a link. Look, I'll send you a link. Because if you're saying like the red aura that shows like um like he's dispersing an attack or something, right? I wouldn't say that's him like using more energy. And that would make it more energy. That that wouldn't well, mean. Well, that's that like it's... saying that's like saying if like Goku like slaps an attack, right? And we see like the blue energy from him slapping it away. It means like Goku's using more. But I don't feel like that's like proof to show that he's that's actually not, that's putting. That's more not out really there. like a valid like. Well, that's what you're using, right? You're saying like Jiren. We see like some red I sent aura the link. here. We can yeah, we can make like this interpretation, right? But like Jiren's key is just red normally. Like he has a red key. No, so, like, so when he's, he's dealing with the spirit key. bomb, he's he's actually exerting more power because he goes from like not holding it, like not trying to counter with any hands. Then he tries to do it with one hand, then goes with two hands, and then push, pushes it back at Goku. He's it. He is. Uh, he is like outputting more power. Yeah, I don't feel like that's proof of more power, right? That could just be Jiren using the power he have in like this suppressed state, just normally. How is he in this suppressed state? Well, not sorry, not not suppressed state, but like that that would no. This would easily. So, so what I'm saying is this, right? He could be at like he could be at like um 
this like uh what's the what's a good example he could be at like this 50 percent, just for hypothetical i'm not saying this is exactly okay, that, right? just hypothetically he'd be at this 50 percent. he's already dogged on goku he's not forced to use any more power of that 50 percent that he has right and then he uses he goes like against the spirit bomb and he's st- he's maybe arguably using maybe two percent more of the power that he was using beforehand and maybe yeah, but the thing is, that. you can't quantify how much Ar- more he's wait, doing. Wait, arguably so, right? Jiren could still be using that fifty percent he used to beat up Kyle King Goku. You'd have to prove that, since he's but based, but he, based off of what though? Like what shows that he's using off, more than that fifty? Fact, based off of the fact that the spirit bomb uh, uses the key, I think, from everyone else, meaning that it would. Well, this uh, entails, right, you can make an uh, an assertion, an argument that the Spirit Bomb would scale higher than a Kaioken times 20 Goku. Wait, actually, looking at this scene, I'm going to send it to you so we can, like, both look at it. Looking at the scene, Jiren doesn't even use any key for the attack. He just puts his hands up. No, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say Jiren is using, using like, No, key. so, okay, right, where I'm going with this is, right, just I'm so, like, say. um, it doesn't sound weird what I'm saying. When Jiren's actually, like, put in this corner where he maybe needs to use more power we see his key show up you get some signification that he's rising power right it's not just him like maybe using two arms instead of one it's him literally showing the key i'm gonna show like the example where he breaks out of hit stuff unless you recall what i'm talking about just like off the dome okay so while you're doing that i just uh I need to tell you, so basically, Kyle, the reason why you can't quantify how much more powerful he is during that point is there, is because, like I've, like, I, like I've explained, the spirit bomb is using the key from people like in the stands, you know, around the battlefield, even in Frieza does it, right? Yeah. It would scale above a Kaoken times 20 Goku. And here's the thing, Kaoken times 20 Goku was, uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaoken times 20 Goku was getting, had, like, shit rocked by Jiren, like, as you were saying, right? Uh, but the thing is, then Jiren is also able to, you know, is able to fight back the spirit bomb that scales higher than a Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken that times times twenty Goku. So you okay. can't quantify how much more powerful he is. Yeah, that's fine, right? I'm not arguing that he's using more power. Like Jiren, you are. He is. Based off of what? Based off of what I just told you. You just said he's using like two arms instead of one. But like exactly. we have actual, but we have like actual showings of when Jiren's using more power. Like in the example when he's fighting Hit. That's not a definitive reasoning. That is. If we have an example of what it looks like when Jiren is using more power, right? We have this, like, you're not arguing that this is an example of him using more power. We have an example then to go off of. No, so this the doesn't I, match that. No, the reason, the reason I, have a, I have a contention with that is mainly because if you recall for the first time that Goku, no UI, no nothing, tried to attack Jiren, uh, and when he first went Super Saiyan Blue, uh, Jiren used one arm right to fight him back but when he went into kaioken he used the second arm meaning that it would take more energy to fight back a super saiyan blue goku a super saiyan blue kaioken times 10 goku right so therefore what i'm what i'm trying to like where i'm going going with this is mainly when he puts forth another arm that would make him stronger like that would give him an amp well not really an amp but like it, it would make his yeah and he power still had to, he greater. still had to exert power against hit too so if we're using that right, that more so helps my point. He gets put in a situation by Hit. He needs to use more power to escape from Hit's attack. Otherwise, he wasn't getting out. Hit had his ass. So if we're using a logic that, okay, the spirit bomb is something that made Jiren use more power. This is the proof that we have. Then that same thing would apply to Hit. He's using more power for Hit then. And if Hit was below any of those things that we're mentioning, which is the Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken, spirit bomb, f- shit that Goku threw at him, he wouldn't need to use any more power. It, it would be pointless. If it had no scaling to that, he wouldn't need to go extra is where I'm getting at with this. Okay, so you're you're trying to prove that uh, uh, Jiren is exerting more power than he did with the spirit bomb. Or I just need to exert like the same amount of power of the spirit bomb. Like either or is fine. Okay. It could be relative. Yeah, relative. Th- that doesn't even... To be honest, that doesn't even affect what I'm trying to prove. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, this is going to lead to me getting like an anti fee for Frieza. That's all. Okay, yeah. Yeah, somewhere like straight. where you scaled Frieza. So um can I ask you like why do you scale him to God Destruction Topo? Uh so we can watch the scene together. Uh basically what he does is he blocks his attacks, he reacts to his attacks. He's not over him, nor is he relative, but he scales to him. Like he scales to his perception, you know, he's able to dodge. Uh yeah, I don't 
I feel like if you're not saying they're relative or he's even like to them, right? Then that doesn't really get like where does that scale them to then? No, like uh, no, I'm not tr- by not. No, like no, I'm not even like trying to be funny. I'm just like genuinely confused by that. Okay, so like by not by not relative, I mean like basically uh, while Topo was fighting him, there was like a few times where he overwhelmed Frieza, but then he was able to come back. Like he was able to react to his attacks and dodge his attacks. So here, oh, I have I, I found the link. So if you see. Let's watch it. Uh, here, I'll, I think I'll tell you like the time because like you're not, we're not just gonna sit here for like three for three minutes. Because are you also aware like Topo's holding back from like just wiping Freeze off the board? How is he holding back? Oh, he states it. I'm not to send you the scan. He like flat out states it when he's like being the dog Smitty out of Frieza. I'm gonna give you time steps. Like, it's two forty nine. I'm gonna send it in the text too. It's two forty nine. He explains to Frieza that like he can get rid of him now, but he has like he doesn't want to get disqualified. So he's like holding back these attacks that would normally just end Frieza off rip, so that you know he doesn't. Yeah, but you could also argue the same case for Frieza. Frieza because no, yeah, Frieza, I'm not I'm saying no, like Frieza isn't holding back, right? I'm aware like you can't kill in a TOP. That's like not where I'm getting at with it. Exactly. And I'm saying Frieza Topo. I'm legs. saying any no. moments of like Frieza showing like this level of anywhere near Topo is only because Topo just can't kill him. Like he, he's Are literally limiting himself. Are you aware that Frieza is that. like heavily fatigued before the fight even starts? Yeah. What show? You mean the same Frieza that was like talking like a lot of shit? Matter of fact, he snuck Topo before this. What is he tired from? No, uh, he was fighting that one. The fuck he's fighting Dipso. Dispo, yeah. Yeah, can you like prove this level of fatigue mattered in any way? It but it did matter because like as you like agreed like as you like presented your argument in our past debate that we had, uh, uh, Frieza was getting shit on by Dispo, and then Gohan came in and like fucking uh, like wiped yeah, the floor. but like the only like, issue he was having with Dipso right was the speed. But then we see like later speed, on. No, he was- no, he was getting heavily fatigued at the end. You can you can see at the end of the fight with Dispo. He was well. Like, we know. Okay, the reason why I don't say he's heavily Frieza. fatigued, right, is that unless I'm tripping, he was still gold when Gohan came and saved him. You look no, but then he wrong. flickered out of it. He was like flickering out of it. He was about to lose control. Like he was not gonna. And let alone, we see like right after that, like him and Gohan before they do the little cage shit. Like Freeze is able like to react to some of Dipso's attacks and such. Well, yeah, but he's he's still he's still fatigued. Like, yeah, I, I don't say like okay when I when someone like says okay this person is fatigued, I expect some type of like showing of okay they go from picking up ten pounds to now five pounds. But with Freeze, okay, we so don't he, see that. Okay, we don't see yes, like Freeze. You do see that. You do see that. You do see that. At the beginning of the fight, you see him reacting to some of the movements, and at the end, you can see him giving like a some kind of smirk. You can argue whatever you want with that, but like it's not sufficient enough proof. Uh, but uh, basically, at the end, he was like. Rather, he wasn't able to able to react at the end. Like you, yeah, argue he's, that getting, he like, getting, getting overwhelmed by Dipso's speed. He's getting overwhelmed. Like, he, yeah, he's no, getting he overwhelmed goes, by like the speed. It's like no, a fly, goes, like swatting goes, you alive. He's he went he went from a uh, sem- somewhat reacting to Dipso's attacks, like being able to see where they're coming from, but his body cannot react. Like, it yeah, can't why is it up. not just the case that Dipso's just like getting faster than him? As the fight You'd goes on. You'd have to prove that. You'd have to prove that. Yeah, that's the proof. Dipso just, starts... No, so hold on. Dipso, Dipso transforms, right? He then gets a full blitz off of Frieza. And then we see the fight continue going onward. And then Frieza just gets overwhelmed as the fight goes on. But we know well, Frieza... Yeah, hold on. Wait. Let me finish, right? We know Frieza can't be fatigued to a great extent because he still can go into gold literally after the Dipso fight. So that's what I'm that- saying. Like, the fatigue can't be of any importance if he's still transforming into his golden freezer state. It can't be anything that's making him weaker. Because then you just gave this example with, like, God Destruction Topo, who is scale above Dipso. So he couldn't be, like, tired, right, with that logic that you're giving. Like, you're kind of contradicting yourself. He's fatigued, but he's still, he, he's fighting this dude that's stronger than Dipso. You get where I'm getting at? Like, that doesn't make a lot of sense if that's the direction you're going with. Well, it's can't implied be that Topo is stronger than Dispo, but we can, but you could just simply argue through like mental amps from Goku that Frieza was just getting stronger from that point. Okay, what shows that like Frieza gets like in battle amps? Okay, here, let me show. 
Because you know, because I'm at a, okay, like a good example of this, right? Do you know, like Frieza still had to jump a like mentally fucked Jiren and almost was getting dogs on by him? Um, I'm gonna show you. I got you. Sorry, Sorry. I, just, I just didn't hear what you said. Oh, I said, uh, like, I'm just giving like an anti fee, right? You know, Frieza gets dogged on by like a weaker Jiren than the one that like dogged on him in the beginning, which was still the suppressed version of himself. That I'm gonna show wouldn't you. matter. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so what I'm saying is this, right? If Frieza is only able to like be relative to this weaker than the version of Jiren that like dealt with like the spirit bomb and, sh and such like that. And we know he has to be weaker because that same Jiren threw Frieza in their first fight. So he couldn't be fighting someone at that level at all. Frieza would have to be fighting someone lower than that. And I'm gonna send a fight that I'm talking about uh, too so you can see what I'm talking about. But then, like Frieza knows that like this nigga's, um, this nigga's like weaker than before and such and his power, his attacks don't have the same power. If you like want the sub too, I could try to find that. Yeah, true. Can you find that? And um, and here go like their first fight when Freeze uh when Jiren's like when Frieza popped up after Jiren like beat him. I think Jiren maybe beat him up the first time after this or something like that. This is their second fight, but like Jiren not even like doing a movement, he just like looks at the nigga and like eats him across the room. And out of like his golden form. I mean <sighs> okay, let me watch it. Okay, so uh, can we go back to like, what What are you trying to prove with this? Okay, so what I'm saying with this is, uh, Frieza can't scale to like golden, um, not <sighs> Frieza can't scale to God of Destruction Topo in any way possible. Because he has like difficulty dealing with a uh, mentally fatigued Jiren who's weaker than the suppressed Jiren who bodied him in the beginning. How would he be weaker? Because Frieza literally stays that he's weaker. And we know Frieza couldn't deal with that suppressed version of Jiren from prior in the um, scan I sent where it says Frieza attacked Jiren. That was okay. like their first encounter. The second, one that you sent is the, the second one that you said is the one where Frieza uh, attacks him first, right? Yeah. Frieza comes in and okay. attacks him. We well, know this is not like after. Um, this couldn't be like uh, anywhere. Well, obviously, you know, because Limit Burst Jiren has his shirt ripped off, and after that, his shirt's ripped off and shit. So this is okay. after like that fight. The first one's after the Limit Burst uh, Jiren and MUI fight. And then this one is like uh, before that. Like a bit before that. I mean, yeah. Uh, so basically, what I all I really have to say to that is mainly the fact that. Um, Frieza didn't start I mean, like you, this might not seem like a like a huge driving like it might not seem like a driving factor in the whole argumentation but it, I, but it is Frieza uh at the at that point if you uh listen like before at the beginning he was more like rash and you can just uh you can assert the fact that uh he didn't one he didn't start the fight in golden Frieza form and second that he kept and you could just argue he's getting stronger throughout the tournament of power yeah and when is Frieza shown to have this quality that like only the Saiyans have shown to gain like Zenkai's in battle or adaptations. It's not even a Zenkai. It's not even. No, I'm just. I'm death. saying that's it's basically just... what he would be having, right? That's the best example I could like call it. I don't want to like call it like getting stronger in battle, like just to shorten it, right? It would. No, be... as a mental amp. No, because we've seen that uh, Frieza's trying to compete with Goku, right? He's trying to. He's trying to get as strong as him and trying to get. Yeah, one he was step trying to do that in Resurrection of F. Also, he didn't gain like in battle. Yeah, but amps. he's been. No, 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 but he, but uh, Goku even states like he's been training a lot just to get past like get to just to get past Goku's level. And then you know during that time after Resurrection F and before the tournament of power, he's doing Goku like mental even states when he's like uh what'd you say? Is like Frieza like doing like mental image training? Uh yeah one mental image training I didn't I don't even really have to bring up that point. But uh when you you know when Goku was trying to uh like like re resurrected Frieza uh, he states that for some reason, like he states from like, well, it could be from the mental training, but he states that he got stronger and mainly for his hatred of Goku, like Frieza and says, like I, for, as my, for my hatred of you, blah, 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 like I got stronger. And so you could argue that seeing Goku in the tournament of power and seeing him unlock these new levels will give him an, an amp that can make him stronger go throughout the tournament of power because he always wants to get one step ahead of Goku. Okay, I understand where you're coming from in that, but we know like 
it wasn't just a hatred that made Frieza stronger. He was like literally doing mental image training. That's what yeah, made him stronger. Because of his hatred. It was No, but his- okay, so what you're saying here, right? Your original claim is that he's basically in like a Zenkai boost in battle due to like wanting to surpass. A Zenkai boost is a bad comparison. It's well it's not okay, Zenkai. mental what do you what do you want to call it? What's like the short name you want to give it? Just like a just like a mental and, amp. Because Zenkai is only for yeah, Saiyan. But, and so like, he gets like a really- mental amp that lasts like the entire TOP. And even yeah, then, yeah. what happened with the mental image training, it wouldn't even qualify for a mental amp. It would just be he trained and his motivation that's why I didn't for training. Want to, that, that's, why the, that's, that's why I didn't want that I didn't even have to bring up the mental image. It's not necessarily the mental image. Yeah, but because then you're see, just not you're we see like a half because truth. We, because you're not being like it, entirely the honest. Tournament of power. Do you not agree that at the beginning of the tournament of power, Frieza is weaker than the Frieza at the end of the tournament of power. At I the agree. end, I, I believe they're the exact same power level. No, they're not. They're not. And I okay. can. I, well, I, I wait, can before you like go on, with right? I just feel like you're not being truthful with the situation because if you don't bring up the mental image training, which is why Frieza got so strong, then you're not giving the reason why Frieza got so strong. His motivation was to kill Goku, but what allowed him to get so strong was the literal training, because we know Frieza doesn't get in battle boost. Frieza doesn't even get mental amps. It, it, it's literally just him training. Like when, like when Vegeta trained after the Namek Saga to unlock Super Saiyan. And from him bitching and crying, he unlocked the form. That's not like a mental amp. That's just him training. You get where I'm coming at here? So like if Frieza gets stronger with training, but in the T.O.P. And, and let alone you would also have to prove that like he can get stronger from like one battle. But we know that isn't true. Because he doesn't just come out stronger after uh, coming back to life and Resurrection F. He has to train. So we know like Frieza is a character that needs to actually do some sort of training to acquire new heights of power. Because only the Saiyans are the t- uh, Saiyans and like Hit are the type of niggas that can get stronger from just being in battle. And they can get it during battle, after battle. They have that narrative and lore surrounding their, uh, their races that allow them to have that you know, type of argument to be made. But Frieza doesn't. Because then it just doesn't add up. Frieza struggles against a Jiren that's weaker than the Jiren he fought prior that dogged on him. But Jiren is, but Frieza somehow at this level where God Destruction Topo is at, like that doesn't make any sense. It's not adding up. Well, yeah, Jiren is obviously stronger than God Destruction Topo. Yeah, in his suppressed state. You believe in his suppressed state that he's stronger? No, I'm just talking about in general. Yeah, but, so. Uh, that, that, would, that, would, that, wouldn't, that wouldn't really matter. That doesn't even pertain to the whole entire argument. But. Basically, here I'll try to use my. Hmm, let's see if I can, what I can do here. Uh, yeah, because at best, like I just want some consistency. Just like because if Frieza's normally not shown, because he always hated Goku. This is like new, you know. It's not like he's newly hating Goku. He's always hated Goku. It's and we and we yeah, ever see so Frieza get like these in battle amps, right? Or like this mental amp that he can grab onto and acquire new well, levels of power. Here's the thing. It's implied. That, like, Topo even, like, states this in his fight with Frieza, like, Golden Frieza, like, before G.O.D. Topo, right? He was absolutely dogging on Topo. Like, maybe yeah, not do you dogging, know he snug but, Topo? Like, he overwhelming. He's overwhelming. It doesn't even matter if he caught no, him No, it does, because you remember what happened, though? He sneaks up on Topo. Who, he's having a beam struggle with 17. So, I, you know, if you want to ever use the fatigue argument, it would apply to Topo. No, what I'm saying is that after the fact, we've seen Topo regenerate from such uh, Yeah, but we know Topo was expending a lot of his energy against 17, and Frieza's in the back stat, like, shooting him a little key spikes. And then that's what Frieza continuously keeps doing to Topo. And we know yeah, Topo... Yeah, but the God of Destruction, like, what was, the, what was their God of Destruction? Like, Belmod kept, st- like, stating that uh, Topo's power was rising because he was getting to that point where he, where he was going to go God uh, G.O.D. Topo, right? So... While he was doing that, his power level was still going up during that point. Now, could you could argue that it's not the same as like as before Seventeen was like struggling with him, but that would just be inconsistent since the fact that he's getting closer to G.O.D. Topo, and then soon we see minutes later he just transforms into G.O.D. Topo and then just like uh, destroys like Frieza, even though Frieza can react to some of his movements and can dodge some attacks. Yeah, I got you. I'm going to send you this scan, though, just proving that Topo definitely wasn't, like, at his norm after uh, Frieza was sneaking his shit. Yeah, no, so even can't. So, so can't. like, where I'm going with this is, right, even if there was some raise in power that was, like, from him, like, 
finally about to just become the god of destruction like he was meant to be, you would have to prove that this like rise is starting from like his norm and up and not like at a zero to up. You get what I'm we saying? Can, no, we can we can we can get a get a grasp on how long it and how much more powerful since the fact that well we can use like the the Dragon Ball time because uh like at the end of like the episode it states that there's like a, like how however many minutes left left right and in, and based off of the Dragon Ball time there's there's a, like a like a calc for this within like a few minutes his power grows from being this fatigued. To getting to God of the like God of Destruction level. Yeah, but so, we know Topo had to been like weaker than his norm when fighting seventeen because he literally loses the beam struggle with seventeen. No, that's not what I'm trying to prove. That's not what no, I'm trying I, to prove. I get what you're saying, right? I'm just giving like contestment to it. It can't be the case of like you can't argue like okay, he's rising in power, therefore Frieza still like in this like area where he's above or like relative to him. But it's like you're ignoring all the part where like Topo was so fatigued to the point where seventeen beat him in the beam struggle also. While Frieza's pelting him in the back. And we know Topo was going to win originally. So it just doesn't add up. It, it's this like level of we can't quantify in any way other than we know that he was fatigued. So I, I feel like it's just disingenuous. You I do. Have- Otherwise, you're being disingenuous to say Frieza scales to this Topo. Even like yeah. normal scaling rise, right? Frieza before this point is only shown at an equal footing with SS Blue Goku. That's it. That's the only level we see. But for Topo, we know him and Goku was going to fight and Goku was going to go Kyle Ken against him. So it just doesn't add up. That doesn't, like, that doesn't fit. It's a level of consistency that just is not kept up here. Because Frieza shouldn't be touching Kyle Ken levels because he hasn't shown that level. He got knocked out by SS Blue. So it's just like, that, that doesn't add up. And I feel like my interpretation is more consistent because what I'm giving is examples of Frieza losing to niggas that would be above the SS Blue Kyle Ken level. He couldn't be anywhere near it because he got dogged on by Blue. And I, I don't mean, th- oh, you could finish. Yeah, per- like, like perhaps you could argue that. I mean, I could try like one last struggle where we we can literally see we can pull up the fight. We can like maybe not the part one, but like the one after that, like when he goes uh, God Topo, right? Uh, we can see that how Frieza scales to Topo in terms of in terms of uh, speed and perception, um, and we can just blatantly see that it doesn't matter like the power like the power difference because we know that uh, Super Saiyan. Uh, so Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta was able to keep up, of course, in all dynamics uh, against G- God Topo, but so was Frieza, except for the one strength, which wouldn't even matter, since based off of the fact that I'm just trying to argue the position that b- based off of speed and perception, he scales relative to Topo since he's able to dodge his attacks and uh, pre- and like perceive him. Like, he's not even... He, like, yeah, okay, he so I'm going to, like, further go on, right, with scaling anything. that shows, like, that couldn't make any sense. If Frieza's anywhere near him, right? So we agree that, like, SS Blue of all Vegeta would be above or, uh, like, relative to Topo. No disagreements with that? What Either or is fine for me. I'm saying, like, you have, you don't have any disagreements with, like, Super Saiyan Blue of all Vegeta being above or relative to Topo. Relative, sure. Okay, either or is fine for me, right? So we know Super Saiyan Blue of all Vegeta is above Frieza in them because he shows greater feats. And unlike Frieza, who gets doodled on by Topo, he can actually fight Topo and even beat him. Yeah, because the strength is not a, di- is a, not a dynamic. Like, why is, Frieza, it, wait, why is the strength, like, not... Imp- are you saying, like, the strength isn't important to the Topo fight? Yeah, not in, not in terms of Frieza. If we're scaling him relative in terms of speed and perception to God Topo... Therefore, and since uh, Blue Evolution Vegeta, like you said, like you made, like made me agree that the fact that they are relative or above, either or, it doesn't really matter in this case. Right. Uh, that in Blue Evolution Vegeta is literally has been contending with the full power, like a full power Jiren. Yeah. What shows when he was like? Are, are you talking about the scene where like he throws like little key balls at Frieza? For what? For um, him, like, reacting to God of Destruction Topo. Uh, not even just, like, uh, uh, Topo throws punches, Hakai. Because I'm, like, looking, I'm, like, looking at the scene. 
I'm like but looking like, at the scene where like uh, Topo transforms, right? And I I don't feel like the, the rising power level point really helps. I don't know, like you drop that or something, but yeah, I'll, I'll drop that. Yeah, like, I'll, okay. I'll, so I'll like going point. forward from that, right? Okay. You know, like when he attacks Topo, I would just argue Topo isn't taking Frieza seriously as an opponent. I mean, you'd have to prove that because he. Well, he's, he's already he's stated only... once. So the reason why I'm saying this, right? He, he, he already stated, stated that. Go on. Yeah, he already stated once that he can dog Frieza. He can he can literally just kill him if he wanted to. Fuck knocking him out. Well, yeah, but, the, the and he says the only reason I'm not is just to like the, win. The same could hold true for Frieza. No, but what I'm saying he, is this, right? You have to provide some line of evidence that Frieza because he's could, holding back. Because wait, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You have to provide some line of like scaling, right? That could say Frieza can literally fuck up Dada Shuri Topo if he wanted to. You can, no line of scaling. Would, here's what I'm saying, right? For me, right? We both can agree. Literally, the video is showing it. Topo was dogging on Frieza, like. Like molesting that nigga, right? So if we then say, okay, Freeze was holding back, and that's why he didn't win, or you can make this interpretation, and you want me to take it seriously, okay? Where is Freeza ever shown even making Topo be like, ouch, damn nigga, this hurt. You're kind of it doesn't. It doesn't have to. He could be. He could be that much like held back since by by the simple fact that Frieza has like stated himself somewhat and is also implied to you know have an easier time fighting when he can kill the, his opponent. Right? You can't quantify how much, so you can't make the claim. That you can't. I mean, you can't quantify how much weaker that makes him. Or how okay, much so we can do it like this, right? So Are we agreeing that like Goku and Frieza, like Frieza was trying to kill Goku when he had that clash. You no, know, when he was like recruiting him. Yeah. No. Why would Frieza not be trying to like fuck up Goku when he doesn't? Oh yeah, at the end with the Hakai, yeah, he was trying to kill him. Yeah, so we know Frieza has this intention to kill Goku. It's not like it's hidden or anything. He doesn't even lie about it. He wants to kill the nigga. So if yeah, we but know he was, Frieza he wasn't trying all the way there. Yeah, if we know Frieza going his hardest, right? And he doesn't like uh I forgot what the rule was for the recruitment. It was like if he wins, he gets to come back to life and he doesn't have to help them. And if Goku wins, he has to come and help them and shit. So with that, Frieza has all the more reason to not hold back and go to his max because he doesn't want to work for a monkey. This is well established. He has no love for Saiyans. Yeah, with but that, he wants to come back to life as well. No, but remember the rec- he doesn't like Goku. So there's no point yeah, of having that, that Goku. So hold on. Actually, I can like find a scene too. But if I remember correctly, yes. it was if he wins, he comes back anyway. If he loses, he has to work with them to come back. It was literally just you win, you get a free easy pass. But I may be wrong with this. So I'm gonna like go to the scene. No, it's just rather if you help us win, then we'll give you like your life back. And you could just argue that he values his life over over you know working for Goku and not even working with Goku, just helping him. But he wants all. His end goal Wait, is that what did he you didn't say he care because he, he was going to use the final uh, uh, Super Shenron whatever wish to be like to be on on. Wait, quick on question. What did you say Frieza would get if he wins the clash him and Goku was having? Pardon? What was Frieza going to get if he wins the clash? If he won the clash? Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, yeah. But I, I'll, I remember I'm gonna see if that I can the deal find, was... Like, what he says. I mean, the deal was is like if you help us out to win the tournament of power, all because it doesn't wish make any back. like it doesn't. Uh, I, I recall it being like Frieza definitely was gonna get something juicy if he won. Yeah, exactly. You said you can you can come back to life and I'll wish you back to life. And he would care. He would that would be more valuable in terms of Frieza in Frieza's eyes would be more valuable than working with Goku to get than working with Goku. Just based on the simple fact of the two driving factors. One, if they won, he was going to, he, he has something to look forward to. Like he's going to come back to life and then he would want to grind harder and then try to kill Goku at the end. So he can be patient during that those points in time. This is further uh, supported by the fact that Frieza is shown like these like shady moments during the Tournament of Power where he like tries to sneak shots at Goku um, with like his key blasts. And and another driving factor, this is the second one, is that with Almighty Shenron, he has something to look forward to because Goku even told Frieza. Okay, that- I found the same. So Goku states, if uh, if I win, you have to do as I say. No weird shit. And Frieza said, if I win, uh, I get to do whatever the fuck I want to do. Where did it say that? What's the timestamp? Ah, uh, fuck. Oh. Okay, wait. Um, 
go to 135 might be a bit before the scene but like that's better than like fucking okay. in the middle of it yeah yeah one 129 is a good point to start I'm gonna wait till like you look at the scene first, and then I'm gonna speak on it. Okay, but that, what he said wouldn't wouldn't invalidate what I'm trying to. Prove. Yeah. So what I'm saying is this, right? It's really dumb for Frieza to be like, "Oh yeah, I get if I win, I get to do whatever I want," right? Which literally would mean he could just rank himself back. He could do that. That ain't like impossible for him to have access to. He could still bring himself back to life, regardless of the matter. And he's alive now, and with that, he could do whatever the fuck he wants. He has it, it's for Frieza as a character. I don't see why why would working for Goku be more beneficial. No, he even states that he matured in, in the mental department. No, he stated, like, I got better at, like, holding back my killing intent or something among those lines. Exactly. Yeah, Which but that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean like, he just is going to be like, oh, yeah, Goku, I'll let you whoop my ass. You get what I'm saying? I'm saying he wouldn't yeah, let Yeah, but another driving shit. factor is that Goku even, like, tells Frieza that this Super Shenron can grant any wish, no limitations. That could also be a driving Let alone, factor. wasn't people trying to recruit Frieza also, like the other universes? The uh, universe, like, nine was. I yeah, think. so if I'm, yeah. So with that, like, Frieza definitely had options. He didn't have to work with Goku. Yeah, but Honestly, that was after he heard. That's after he heard. Yeah, so either way, right, what I'm saying is, it's, more, like, Frieza would gain more from it from being a dog shot of Goku, doing whatever he wants, and he could just find a means to come back another way. Instead of relying on it's the same monkey, coming back, it's a super Shenron shit. No, but what I'm saying is this, right? You're basically acting like God. Frieza doesn't have this burning hatred for Goku, and he doesn't want to kill him or just beat him. That, that like he literally comes back to life to beat up Goku. I mean, yeah, I guess. So what I'm saying is, it's just not it's not narratively or character like character wise consistent to say, oh yeah, Frieza pick getting his ass whooped and wouldn't go to the maximum possible to beat goku and get freedom and it's not even like frieza's the smartest nigga in the world he doesn't think that intelligently he unlocked god form and didn't even practice on stamina wise for when he first got it so I, it definitely sticks within character even if frieza has quelled his like bloodthirst to the point where he's not trying to like blast goku off in this instant i would i would even argue that's not true because he tries to fucking kill goku with the hakai bowl so we know frieza isn't the control isn't perfect he still is the same nigga, basically. So it's no reason for him to hold back in this battle, right? And unless there was some proof to show Frieza gets, like, um, like adaptations. I'm going to just call it that. That's a better way of phrasing it. Adaptations in battle, right? He can grow in battle in the same vein as, like, Hit or, like, a Saiyan could. Then we have Frieza at this consistent power level. And so then all these other events that are explainable, whereas, like, Topo just isn't taking Frieza seriously. We know that because he already established that he can dog on Frieza normally. Relativity wouldn't even assert that level of cockiness if Frieza could really be a threat to him. But he doesn't even care um, about Frieza. So, basically... Huh, so... All I'm really, like, saying, like... I mean, kind of... I still have a lot of contentions. Like, I could... It's not really, like, a definitive skill, but the other ones are, like, kind of ratty. And that was, like, the only one, like... Well, I like, really can, you, can you at least, like, explain, right, how, like, Frieza gets dogged on by Jiren when they first fight? He, like, goes into Golden and rushes at him. Jiren dogs on him. But then later on, this weaker-than-that version of Jiren, we know it's weaker because he's actually able to fight this Jiren. He's able to squabble with that nigga. Actually, he's able to squabble with that nigga in base and when he transforms. This, like, this, like, uh, fucking mentally fucked Jiren after MUI like was dogging on his ass. So it really doesn't make any sense. Like like that's, I mean, yeah. that really doesn't I mean, add up, bro. Cause that it just makes the scaling weird as fuck. Okay, so now Frieza struggles with this weaker than these like versions of Jiren who could dog on Kyle Ken, right? Because what you're saying was skill Frieza way above Kyle Ken Goku. Or that version of Goku. Because Goku realistically does get actual like amps as the fights go on he gets stronger that, that's present we could show that with feats but with frieza we take these fights and we look at them and we really look at them it doesn't add up that he goes from getting dogged on by suppressed uh jiren right to getting semi dogged on to the point where 17 needs to come in and help him against this mentally fucked jiren who isn't even at the level of his suppressed self that dog uh frieza beforehand it just doesn't add up and we know this is a mentally fucked Jiren because I can show you the next scene after uh, 
Jiren and Seventeen jump and shit. Yeah, it's, from it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, Seventeen. It's really, I mean, it's, Jiren gains himself back after Topo hypes him up, and he dogs on Frieza. And Jiren, and he dogs on Frieza and Seventeen I mean, to the point where Frieza goes back into base because he's getting whooped so badly, and he's using up so much energy. And Seventeen is even like, "Yeah, we're gonna lose this." I mean, yeah, I still have contentions that up at that point, but like, you'd probably be able to rebuttal them, honestly. Um, so I'm just saying, like, the scaling uh, change I doesn't just, make sense, and and it, I, yeah. I feel like it's more of a fair interpretation to say Frieza's at this certain level, and because nothing narratively, at least in my opinion, right? I'm not trying to invalidate your claims, but at least in my opinion, shows that Frieza gets like what he can do with like gain fucking um, you know, l- new levels of power from just being in battle, right? It's never presented because it's not shown a resurrection at F. It's not shown generally for Frieza as a character. He needs to train. He needs to do something. Otherwise, he, he doesn't get anything from it. He had to train yeah. to unlock a better control of his golden form and to be stronger. He had to train to unlock the golden form to begin with. Frieza just isn't built like these Saiyans or Hit. Or even Jiren, who got like this new level of power for being pushed to that point. But Frieza just doesn't. Yeah. Frieza's just a cockroach. He gets but... lucky thinks that niggas like 17 saving his ass. Yeah, so I'll just, I just like, I guess I, I can see it. So yeah, I mean, like, GG's, I guess. Yeah, my way kind of just about um, to be like fucking, um, like, Frieza scales like below the Super Saiyan Blue Cow King Goku. And that's why I was like talking about like these like scaling chains that would make him definitely below. And then Hit just would be above that or relative. So he would just like, fuck I mean, him. yeah, I just, him. yeah, I still have like contentions that we can go over that later. Um, but like, yeah, I was just trying to like use. Like some inverse Naruto mental amp 